left the town of Gap on their way to the ski resort at Serre Chevalier, their first full day in the Alps. And right away, it was American Greg LeMond who attacked the mountains, and his group of climbers began to run away with the race. It was one year ago when LeMond was given a raw deal when his team asked him to back off his pace and help his teammate Bernard Hinault win his fifth tour. Well, today, Hinault in the yellow race leader's jersey was being taken apart by LeMond. At the start of this stage, Eno was only 40 seconds ahead of Lamont in the overall standings. And now, Greg was far enough ahead of Eno to put him technically in the yellow jersey. A look back for Eno, a real look, and Eno is nowhere to be found. Could this really be happening? Well, it appeared to finally sink in as Lamont realized he should be paying more attention to his race. The Swiss champion, Urs Zimmerman, leads Greg, and suddenly he is the American's chief worry. This now is the angry Greg Lamont, the man who was promised by Team 80 No that he would have the Frenchman's help this year. What was being said at the team car? Maybe it's what we heard early this morning before the race. It's been really difficult for me because, uh, you know, we have two leaders on the team. Both of us want to win. I always felt that, you know, a promise has been made that, uh, that I, I helped Bernard win last year, and I felt that it was his turn to help me win this year, and it's... It's been the contrary. It's been uh, the battle against each other. We're meant to be working together, not against each other. Yeah, uh, but he just told me the war is now on. <laughs> That's official. <laughs> I think we'll see Lamont in the yellow jersey tonight. An outrageous prediction? Well, maybe. In any case, the Alps were soon to tell the tale. At last and for the first time in his sparkling career, Greg LeMond is free to ride his own race. Accompanied by the Swiss champion, Urs Zimmermann, LeMond attacked on the Col des knowing that Bernard Hinault had already been left behind by the best on the way up the mountain. Finally, everything Greg LeMond has promised is coming through. The American who made your smile when he said he could win the Tour de France now has the last lap. The Badger still fights to limit his losses. The Tour has still 600 miles to go after today. Eno knew though, someday the rider he trained, coached and encouraged would one day become a man who could inherit all the glories that the Tour de France creates. He calls the Granon towers above Brianton and climbs seven miles to nowhere. But Greg Lamont will soon remember this lump of granite as the place where he became the first American to lead the Tour de France. The crowd knows history is a game in the making. We know he's beaten today, but he has helped make Lamont the champion he always knew he was. Even in defeat, he knows every reason to feel proud this day, as all America should. Greg Lamont has only to cross the finish to become the first American to lead the race in a history that goes back 83 years. At the summit, Lamont was the third man to reach the ski station at Serre Chevalier. But of course it didn't matter. His finish was better than three minutes faster than he know. The climbing had taken its toll on Greg, but it was worth it. For now, he could wear a jersey, bright yellow in color, and become the first American to do so. And already, Lamont was being overwhelmed by the press. <laughs> Bernard Hino, his yellow jersey would soon be gone. And now, the historic moment. Greg Lamont, in yellow. The blonde-haired, blue-eyed bike rider from Nevada was now leading the greatest bike race on Earth. The standings after 17 days, Lamont in the lead. The man in the middle, Urs Zimmerman. Afterwards, Lamont put the personal battle with Eno behind him and put the focus on the finish line in Paris. I think that Bernard realizes maybe that he can't win it now, and I think that Bernard's the type, I mean, normally he'd really keep his word, but you know, he's been under a lot of pressure, and 
uh, I think now that I've got a clear advantage over him, I think he really will support me 100%. Back here at our base of operations this Sunday evening, the French Alps, where we feed you our program via satellite. The riders have long since retired for the evening, Greg LeMond with his historic yellow jersey tucked away in his hotel room drawer. But the race is not over for Greg LeMond or the other riders, because upcoming this week, two of the most torturous stages so far, two more days through the French Alps. The week ends up with a glittering ride down the Champs-Élysées for the man who can win the 1986 Tour de France. Will Greg LeMond be able to hang on to his first yellow jersey? Will Bernard Hinault be able to take it away from him and win his historic sixth? We'll have it all for you next Sunday on CBS Sports Sunday. For now, I'm John Tesh. So long from the French Alps. Well, John Tesh and Phil Liggett will be at the finish line along the Champs-Élysées in Paris one week from today. Channel 21, WHP-TV.